Hello, my name is Eric Hanscom. I'm a patent attorney. Now, I've been practicing patent law for over a decade now, and during that time, I've seen a lot of inventors. And I've talked to a lot of inventors and dealt with a lot of inventors and their inventions. Most inventors come into our office with enough money to pay for a well-prepared patent application, but from time to time, I run into people who truly don't have enough money to pay for a patent attorney to prepare a patent application for them. So, I'm making a couple of videos that will hopefully give the first-time inventor who truly does not have enough money to pay for a patent attorney to prepare the invention for them enough information so they can at least give it a try themselves. However, as a disclaimer, this video does not create any attorney-client relationship or privilege between me, the speaker, and you, the viewer. And I must say again, I highly, highly recommend you do not prepare your own patent application. Again, over the last decade, I've seen a lot of inventor prepared applications. Very, very few of them have ever issued as patents and those that did usually had uh, at least one fatal flaw in it. But again, I understand that sometimes you just don't have enough money to go through and hire a patent attorney. So for you, I've prepared these videos. I hope you enjoy them. What needs to go into a provisional patent application? Well, first you have to understand what a provisional is. Some people think that if they file a provisional patent application, it becomes a patent and gives them enforceable rights. Not true. What provisionals do is they really buy you a year of grace period. So once you file that provisional application, most inventors generally go out, do some R&D, try to perfect the invention, maybe bring in investment money, uh, go to a couple of trade shows, see if they can license out their invention. And basically they use that year as a trial period to see whether the invention is worth putting more money into it. So what does a provisional need to have? Well, a provisional needs to describe your invention very well. It also needs some drawings that will illustrate your invention if your invention is one where the words alone cannot suffice to describe it. So for example, if, um, and I didn't invent this, but this is my drone, if I happened to have invented this a few years ago, I would have described it as uh, an aerial vehicle capable of flight using one or more propellers. It's got a, with a camera that can take pictures or something else capable of taking pictures and software that's capable of controlling the whole thing so it doesn't go flying away. Now, when I say the provisional has to be well written, let me explain that. The provisional has to provide what's called support for any later filed utility patent application. The goal here, if you have a well written provisional, is that the provisional holds your spot in line for a year. And during that year, again, you basically build your invention up, perfect it get it ready so that you really can start making some money on it and then before the year expires you have a utility patent application drafted that claims priority back to the provisional. The problem is if your provisional is written poorly you can be denied that earlier filing date which especially after the Patent Reform Act can have some very serious consequences. So for example if your uh, provisional is not prepared well the examiner can deny the earlier filing date. If you file a provisional on this, this quadcopter here saying something that can fly that has a camera on it, you're not going to be able to claim priority because it really doesn't describe this in adequate detail for the examiner to think that when you file a utility patent that describes this perfectly, that you had in mind during the time you filed the provisional exactly what the invention was going to turn into. So again, the provisional has to be written well. The second problem that I notice with a lot of inventors who try to draft their own provisionals is that uh, they wait until after a public disclosure to draft the provisional. Now realize that a public disclosure such as taking this thing to a trade show and showing it off or having a magazine article written about it or putting it for sale up on eBay, that is a public disclosure and that can actually count against you even if you're the inventor of this. So if you keep those things in mind, you have a chance of being able to succeed with provisionals. I'm Eric Hanscom. Are you protected? 